Hey there and welcome to the ClickFunnels tutorial series. So let's get started here. We're at the login screen. So if you don't have an account, go ahead, create yourself a free trial. Feel free to pause it and come back. So assuming you're logged into your ClickFunnels account or if you're going to be following along in this tutorial, go ahead and log in and uh, simply just pause it for now. All right, so hopefully you're uh, good to go. You're all logged in and maybe you're at this dashboard looking to uh, create your first opt-in funnel so let's go ahead and get started here we're going to actually add a new funnel so i do have some uh, tags down here these are for different funnel types and they're not important what you need to know is that right now we're going to go ahead and add a new funnel so we're going to actually go ahead and collect emails right so it's just going to be a simple opt-in funnel if you're looking to do another funnel type i'm going to go through those later on you may be able to search through the channel and find some and uh, perhaps I'll, I'll put those descriptions there later on as I create those tutorials. So let's go ahead and call this opt-in funnel. And I'm going to put this one under tutorials. So what this does here is you can see here in the background, I've got live six, four, uh, six core funnels here, marketplace, shared funnels, all these ones here. And this will actually add a new dropdown tag here that these funnels will go into or at least this funnel and any other funnel I want to add into the tutorials. All right so here we are inside of the funnel dashboard and so this is the opt-in template blueprint that's been selected that we chose to create. So you can see here we've got the two funnel steps we've got opt-in and thank you and they both have these triangles here to let us know we need to select a template. So I've selected sort by top converting here just to get an idea of which ones we might want to select from, um, you know, select our template from. You can also see here other page types, and these will each have their own templates. So if you're looking for website page templates, you might want to look under miscellaneous. If you're looking to start your membership area where you're going to um, be providing educational content, you can start with looking through the membership areas here and so on. You can see the rest here, right? Order pages, sales pages, product launch pages, and more. Uh, throughout these different types. So let's get started with our opt-in page and I'm actually going to select one, um, this one here that is promoting a book, right? We've got a product image, that's our ebook that we're going to be offering. All right, so here we are. So we can see we will be able to track the amount of visitors, the contacts that subscribe, and then the contact conversion rate. So Again, uh, over here, we've got some other things that we'll be getting into shortly. However, uh, I'm going to help you just set up your basic opt-in funnel here. So I'm going to go ahead and edit this page. All right, so now that the page is loaded, let's take a look at a few different things you're going to need to know about before editing your page and before publishing your page. So as soon as you selected that template, your page is live, officially live. However, there's no traffic going to it. You're going to be directing traffic to it, whether that's you sharing the link on Facebook, directing ads to it, or etc. However, you want traffic to get to this page. So first, we'll look up top. If you're following along, you'll notice that at the very top in the tab that you're not able to see on my screen, it says My Awesome Landing Page. So we don't have quite an awesome landing page just yet. So let's go ahead and uh, click on Settings over here. And we'll click on Meta Tags here and Social Settings. So this is the information that you would see if you shared this page on Facebook or if someone found it on Google. So what we can do is actually replace these with something that's going to make much more sense, especially let people know what to expect when they visit the page or uh, just a congruent title right, with the page. So free tutorial PDF, right? So maybe that's it. We're giving a PDF away that's going to teach somebody something. You can also see here the social image option. So if we click this, a box will appear where we can upload uh, images from our computer. So at the top will be a button to upload. And anytime you see a box like this, where it's asking for an image in a box like that, that is where you can upload images. So even if you just want to upload images to use later, uh, it doesn't mean it needs to absolutely get added in here. So let me back out of here and let's continue on with editing the page so we can get this page up and running. So here we have a green box, and this green box is a section. Inside of these sections are something called rows, which are these blue boxes here. And inside that row, we have an element. So the elements are the content. So 
let's draw your attention here to the blue box and we can see it says one column row over on the left so what we want to do is go ahead and let's add a two column block and let's simply drag and drop all right and so i've deleted that one column block and now you can see how we have a two column row and so here we can add a new element if we want to add a button for people to be able to call us or maybe send us an email add more text or if we wanted to keep the text over here and maybe we wanted to upload an image over here right so we'd upload maybe our logo or something like that maybe align that over there on the left so and there you go you've got yourself a header now let me go ahead and make this one a little smaller and you'll see the whole row will actually adjust itself a little bit so it's taking up less space all right so that's some basic how to you know manage uh, working inside of the sections the column rows and the different types of elements here so now we'll move on down here we've got a left sidebar row which is technically another two column block so i'm dragging this little pill icon button here to be able to alter the size of this here so i like it the way it was more or less so let's go ahead and look at the rest of these elements so some templates you'll notice will have a button and it's going to say what happens when that button is clicked so some pages will have the opt-in form on the page and however this one appears to only have the button to open a pop-up and so that is very fine they're still going to be able to submit their information not a problem so the bottom left here we actually have a show pop-up button and you can see here the input forms that have been added here we've got one that says email address and the placeholder matches that as well and full name so we have the name field type again you can see another button element here and it says submits the page so let's go ahead and click on the gear for that and we can change the text we could add subtext or change it if there is some already we could change if we want the button to actually show or hide other elements or rows or even sections but for now we're going to leave it as url action and here under url slash action we're going to set it to submit form so that way their information will be submitted and that's all you need to know uh, to collect information on your opt-in page uh, i'm just going to save it there force of habit and i'm going to actually exit out of here now and there we go so we're back at the funnel dashboard and we're going to go ahead and select a thank you all right so here this page is loaded up we're going to go ahead and uh, select a template so i'm just going to click sort by top converting so most often in an opt-in funnel here uh, your thank you page is going to do one or two things here so it's either going to let them know the download it or the pdf file is being delivered or it's going to allow them to download it on the page so you can do this however you'd like i recommend uh, finding a way to make sure that you know it's uh, sending them an email that way they're opening your first email right that's going to be very important you want them to make sure it's not in spam you know that way for the rest of your emails uh, they're not going just straight to the junk mail and they're, they're done here with you uh, after this opt-in but that's up to you uh, and so we're just going to go ahead and make sure that this opt-in page allows you to collect information we'll get into downloads a little bit later so i'm actually just going to go ahead and select this first template here we could start with a blank template if we absolutely do not like any of these other templates but for simplicity's sake let's go ahead and pick this one here awesome all right so it's loading the preview we don't really need to wait we know that the template's been selected so all right so now this page has been created so how this works is you send people to this opt-in page you can direct them here through this link up top so simply copy the url to the clipboard or you can send them to this page here either one of these will allow them to view the page and of course if you did create any split tests uh, this either one of those links would allow that to work so i'm going to go ahead and click this here to uh, test and there we go we can actually see the live preview of our page go ahead click download now and i'm going to do a test opt-in and there we are so again we're at our thank you page template and without that template we would not be able to select uh, or collect sorry the information 
from that first page. So it's very important that we do have those two funnel steps. If you're going to be creating landing pages or bridge pages as an affiliate marketer, perhaps you want to send them to the ClickBank or JVZoo's sales page, or maybe you're promoting ClickFunnels as an affiliate. So we can go ahead up here into settings and down here into redirect override. Inside of here is where we actually place that URL that uh, is going to be your affiliate URL. All right, so oftentimes it'll be the URL uh, of the website and then a bunch of stuff here in the path that's going to have your affiliate ID. That way you get the commission if they go ahead and purchase. So that's just uh, two ways that we can you know, make sure that they have somewhere to go, make sure that the information here on this pop-up is submitted for sure. So keep an eye out for more tutorial videos. If you really enjoyed this one, which I hope you have, feel free to subscribe. I'm going to be making more of these uh, as time goes on. Feel free to like it so I know that you know people like these. And uh, I'm going to be more than happy to uh, keep on creating these tutorial videos. And don't forget, leave a comment if you have any questions at all.